Magic Box Bedtime Stories for Kids in English Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a young girl named Badoo. She had a loving father who had fallen gravely ill, and she was determined to find a cure for him. One day, she decided to venture into the forest, hoping to discover a miraculous plant or fruit that could heal him. As she walked deeper into the woods, she picked various fruits and leaves, hoping to find something that could help. This violet leaf might help my father, she thought, as she carefully placed it in her saddlebag. As Badoo was collecting more plants, she noticed an old woman struggling ahead of her. The woman was hunched over, walking slowly, and Badoo's heart went out to her. Hello, ma'am. Would you like me to help you? Badoo offered kindly. The old woman, who wore a tattered hood that shadowed her face, glanced at Badoo with grateful eyes. Thank you, dear. My walking stick broke and now I walk slowly to avoid falling. Badoo immediately looked around for something that could help. She spotted a sturdy branch near a rocky cliff and, with great effort, broke it off, using a sharp stone to shape it into a proper walking stick. She handed it to the old woman, who smiled warmly. Here you go. Now you can walk safely. The old woman's eyes sparkled with appreciation. Thank you, young girl. You worked so hard for me. But tell me, why would you do this for a stranger? Badu replied softly, my father is very sick. I believe that anyone who is old or sick should be helped, just as I would help him. The old woman was deeply moved by Badu's words. She reached into her cloak and pulled out a small, ornately decorated box. Take this magic box, young girl. It will provide healing nutrients that can help your father. Badu hesitated. Thank you, but don't you need it as well? The old woman shook her head. You have already given me what I needed, this walking stick. Take the box, but remember, it only works if shared with those who truly need it. Otherwise, it will be useless. As the old woman disappeared into the forest, Badu held the small box in her hands. When she opened it, she found simple items, water, bread, and a handful of walnuts. Though puzzled by their appearance, she was grateful for the gift and began her journey back home. As Badu walked, a wealthy merchant hiding behind a tree had overheard the entire exchange. His greedy eyes lit up when he saw the magic box. If I could get that box, I'd be rich, he thought, and followed her through the woods. Soon, Badu encountered a starving goat, weak and frail. Her heart went out to the poor creature. Without hesitation, she took the bread from the box and offered it to the goat. Here, sweet goat. The magic of this box never ends, so eat as much as you want. The goat ate happily, gaining strength, and then trotted off into the forest. Badu continued her journey, but soon came across a dry cocoa tree with thin, withered branches. Oh, poor tree, you must be so thirsty, she said, taking the water from the box and pouring it at the tree's roots. Instantly, the tree absorbed the water, and new green leaves began to sprout. Soon, you will bloom with cocos, Badu whispered to the tree as she continued her walk. But her journey was tiring, and after a while, she needed to rest. As she sat down, the same cunning merchant appeared before her, this time dressed in a palace guard's uniform. Hello there, young traveler. I am the guardian of the palace. You seem tired. May I offer you a ride on my horse? Badu was wary, but exhaustion got the better of her. That would be wonderful, thank you. The merchant smirked, but in return, you must give me that little box when you reach your destination. Badu frowned, suddenly realizing who the man was. You're not a guardian. You're that greedy merchant from earlier, she exclaimed. No, you cannot have the box. Good day to you, she said firmly as she continued walking. Soon after, Badu grew hungry and reached into the box for the walnuts. However, just then, she spotted a family of squirrels who looked just as hungry as she felt. She smiled and decided to give the walnuts to the squirrels. I can wait. You need these more than I do. At last, after a long and tiring journey, Badu arrived home to her father. She was excited to show him the magic box that would help him heal. Father, I met a wise old woman who gave me this magic box. It's filled with foods that will make you well again. 
But as she opened the box, her heart sank. It was completely empty. How can this be? Badu whispered, tears welling up in her eyes. I only shared the contents with those who needed it. Just then, there was a knock at the door. Badu opened it to find the old woman, the goat, the squirrels, and even the revived cocoa tree standing before her. The old woman smiled kindly. You did exactly what I asked, young girl. You shared the magic only with those who needed it. And now, your kindness will be rewarded. The goat provided fresh milk, the cocoa tree gave sweet fruit, and the squirrels offered hazelnuts. With these, Badu prepared a healthy drink for her father, who, after drinking it, regained his strength and health. My brave, kind-hearted daughter, he said, hugging her tightly. Thank you. Badu was overjoyed. She no longer needed the magic box and decided to leave it by the trash. But the greedy merchant, who had been watching, saw his chance. He pounced on the box, thinking he would finally become rich. As Badu watched him struggle with the now empty box, she chuckled softly to herself. She knew the real magic wasn't in the box, it was in her own kind and giving heart.